Good morning. I'm Lauren Ambo, Assistant Superintendent of Teaching and Learning. I'm also a mom with two children here in FISD, an incoming first grader and fourth grader. Just like you, we are having lots of conversations at home about what school will look like next fall, how it will look different, but it will be okay. Even though things may look and feel different, the thing that remains the same are the hearts of our teachers ready to nurture and support kids. I am Kim Cole, Executive Director of Secondary Teaching and Learning. I also have four children who have all graduated from FHS. We come to you today as parents and educators who are committed to providing learning environments that are safe and engaging. Our teaching and learning team is working diligently behind the scenes with school administrators, teachers, and the community to shape school reopening plans that will meet the needs of our learners with respect to their individual health needs and concerns. Friendswood ISD is obligated to prepare for different modes of return based on guidelines and recommendations provided by the Texas Education Agency, or TEA, the Department of State Health Services, the CDC, and the Executive Order of the Governor. FISD gather data from our teachers and our community and are reflecting on those results as preparations are made for virtual and in-person instruction next year. Our greatest desire is to serve our students in the way that we know is best, face-to-face -face in our buildings. However, FISD recognizes that this may not fit the needs of all students at this time, so we're busy shaping FISD's virtual learning option based on stakeholder feedback and guidance from TEA. Our goals today in this video are to outline the FISD virtual learning option for students who may be unable to return to school in the fall as well as to highlight the health and safety protocols being considered for students who will return for face-to-face -face instruction. As parents, we recognize the weight of this decision. So we are hopeful to be able to share some information with you that will help you in shaping your thoughts around this decision. Let's first focus on the protocols being shaped for students who will choose to return to school in the fall. These protocols are being shaped around a full return and continue to be developed based on the changing nature of our current circumstances. Earlier in the week, Mr. Rohr shared that on Tuesday, we would be receiving health guidance from TEA. However, TEA chose to withhold that guidance and did not provide any indication of when the guidance would be released. Therefore, based on current guidance, protocols that FISD is committed to implement for the 2021 school year for a full return include, but are not limited to, regular hand washing and sanitizing procedures, daily deep sanitation of campuses and buses, minimization of large groups and areas such as cafeterias, hallways, during passing periods, arrivals, and dismissals, procedures for sanitizing shared resources and materials, staff training around coronavirus preventative measures, recommended but not required and developmentally appropriate wearing of masks in high traffic times and areas such as arrivals, dismissals, and passing periods. And finally, the district is working to determine the best way to address shared technology such as Chromebooks, iPads, and calculators. More detailed information will be shared soon regarding these protocols as they are developed around new guidance. Now let's move to details around FISD's virtual learning option which is a response to the unique challenges as a result of the pandemic. Students that might make good candidates for this mode of instruction would be those who have health risks or have a fear that their exposure at school could pose a risk to those in their family. As parents in spring, you experienced distance learning, which is an emergency response due to the quick turnaround required to support student learning from home. You will notice as we talk through the key components of FISD's virtual learning option, for the fall, there are increased expectations and commitments. These expectations have been shaped based on feedback from parents, students, and teachers, as well as guidance from TEA. Key components of FISD's virtual learning option may include a mix of pre-recorded videos and real-time virtual lessons, class connection times to allow students to catch up virtually and support students socially and emotionally, data-driven personalized enrichment and intervention. This approach would follow an adjusted but aligned scope and sequences across FISD. 
virtual office hours and time for remediation, consistent platforms utilize teacher to teacher with Canvas as the intermediate and secondary platform and Seesaw as the elementary platform. Attendance requirements will apply for all scheduled virtual, instructional, and connection opportunities. Grading policies will closely align with the policies for face-to-face -face instruction. Parents will take on the role of a learning coach. The commitment of the learning coach will vary based on the age and needs of each student. Virtual instruction will be provided by an FISD teacher or an outside resource. In addition, there will be an enrollment commitment likely defined by a grading period of nine weeks or semester. We hope this information helps you begin to define which option may be most appropriate for your student and family. To best prepare for the staffing and resources needed for the fall, it is important that we begin gathering student information for those that will be choosing the FISD virtual learning option. Later today, you will receive an enrollment form for this option. We ask if your inclination, based on today's current health environment, is to choose a 100% virtual option for your student, please take time to complete and submit this enrollment form. There are many layers in the preparation and the sooner we know the students that will be choosing this option, the more effectively we can prepare to serve them. Just know that your Friends with ISD teaching and learning team is hard at work preparing to serve all of our students in safe and engaging learning environments next fall. Thank you for listening and most importantly, thank you for your patience as we work through this process. Our next steps are to gather the information from the enrollment form and further shape our instructional models.